Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you will have seen from the title, hopefully today is going to be a mukbang, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically where I, with Mikey, I'm going to sit down and answer lots of different questions whilst we eat our dinner. <laughs> so before we get into that, I thought I'd quickly run through what we're going to be having for dinner. You normally do this with the takeaway, but we actually went out for lunch, so yeah, we couldn't stomach a big takeaway. So just going to have a few different picky bits from M&S. So we have sour cream and red onion hand-cooked crisps. I'll show everything just in case anyone wants to try them for themselves. Breaded lemon sole goujons, which look good. We've got, or oh, for Mikey, some salami. What else is in here? We've got some chip shop curry sauce, which we thought would be nice to dunk the goujons in. So we'll let you guys know how those are. We've got some seafood sticks, which are my fave. Some truffle nuts, which are part of their new Christmas range. So we'll let you know what I think of those because I'm really into nuts, as I say a lot. And then we've also got some, some fish cakes with like a sweet chilli sauce which were reduced to 320 and then some sweet red hummus chilli. So we're just going to cook all of that now and then we will sit down and answer the juicy questions <laughs> for this video. If you enjoyed the video please do give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below as well and let me know what you thought and if you're not already please subscribe to my channel. Right, I'm gonna chuck everything in the oven and then we'll get started. Say hi. Hi. Oh my God. Okay, we're here with the dogs and they've just decided to like drink and cough so and- to go. <laughs> so so to go Okay, but whilst Mikey's doing that, the food is all here and ready. So we've got bowls of different things. So it's a bit of a picky. Actually, let me taste some of these nuts whilst then. They're nice. Mmm. Oh my god, taste. That was like really over the top. Which one should They're I really good. The that almond's pistachio. really good. Okay. Oh my god. Isn't that good? You don't even like almonds. You do. Not really. It's good, it's fine. They're a lot more flavoured than you would have thought they would be. Mmm, okay. Makes sense. So, they are the truffle nut selection. Salted. Almonds, almonds with summer truffle, California pistachios, cashews, roasted with parmesan and rosemary. Delicious. Really, really recommend. So whilst Mikey's finishing off outside, I have found a list of, supposed to be boyfriend, girlfriend, but mukbang questions to run through and answer. So we'll get started on those and get started eating. Okay, so the first question is, when and where did we meet? Do you want to answer? <laughs> like physically me. <laughs> Just explain the story. I'm going in. I actually got this wrong. Do you remember on our wedding? Stag Hendu, we had a like quiz with all our friends and it, it was where did we meet and I said the wrong mm. day. Do you remember? Mm. Isn't that nice? So nice. Yeah. So I'll say the story. <laughs> we, so I'm, I'm actually in my head now, like I can't actually remember which one it was. So we were introduced <laughs> by our friend Jazz and she, I was seeing someone else at the mm. time and she is not good. That is so good. She said like, oh, you should meet my friend Mikey. I messaged Mikey. We ended up going for a coffee at Starbucks. You had ended it with the other person first. Oh no, yeah, sorry. I had ended it with the other person. It <laughs> like, I was seeing someone else. <laughs> we started this and they said there. No, um, <laughs> she, this person wasn't particularly nice. So she told me to like meet Mikey for a drink. So we met. And yeah, that was like getting on for nine years ago. We went to Starbucks, we had Starbucks. frappuccinos, it was in Bristol, and then we went to a Costa like the same evening until both of them closed basically, didn't we? And then just made the rounds of coffee yeah, shops. Yeah, so all the coffee shops, and we didn't even drink a coffee. Um. So that's it. How's the day? Well, it's nice. Mmm. Mmm. No, it's as well, aren't they? Those crisps are nice. Sour cream and red onion. Sour cream and red onion. Okay, next question, where was our first date, we've done that one, where was our first kiss? Was it in my parents' house? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Who 
Who said I love you first? Yeah? Mm, maybe you. Oh. Mm. This is not great, great. we don't remember anything. I can't remember. Does <laughs> anyone else not remember any details early on in their relationship? Let I remember know. it. I remember it, but I can't we remember. We said it like straight after each other. Yeah, it was at the same time. When is my birthday? <laughs> 17th of May. Yours is the 6th of August. <laughs> mm. Where was I born? St. Michael's? So was I. There we go. Same hospital. We were born in the same hospital a few months apart. Those it's are really well. Mmm, really nice. I can't believe how much they taste for truffle. Okay. Relevant one. What is my favourite food? I feel like this changes a lot. Mm. But very recently you've said that your favourite food is like Asian, mm. like pan Asian mm -hmm. food. Yeah, I would say that's probably not like my favourite meal, like just yeah. Asian food, but as like a cuisine. genre of food. A genre. It's. Oh, I'm dropping a goujon. Oh. Sorry. Oh no. <laughs> no. I'd say yours is. Have to get out. Mm, actually, really like dirty food. As in, like, oh, no. I feel like your favourite food would be like. Like greasy food. Yeah, but like done well, but like a really good burger, really good fries, like loaded with like mm. like different cheeses and dips and like hummus. Yeah. No, not hummus, like <laughs> chorizo and or like pork loaded fries, like mm. that kind of vibe, like takeaway made nice. Mm. I actually don't like even greasy like, food. Like, yeah. I like greasy food if it's not greasy. It would be it like in sense. a like nice ciabatta roll type thing, mm -hmm. but that kind of food. Or like a really good pizza. We were talking about this the other day as well. I feel like we spend a lot of our conversations talking about food. Yeah. We've actually already spent a couple of hours today talking about food. I can't believe we've never done one of these before because we eat all the time and we talk about nonsense whilst we eat. So. I feel like we used to watch loads of these as well of other people because we just want to watch the food. Mm, just want to watch people eat food. Love food. Love food. These two are being really annoying. Why? They're just staring at me. Sad. What? Mm, okay. I'm... Sorry. I'm sitting on the sofa watching TV. What am I watching? Ooh, difficult. I would say, um, like a series. Okay, I don't know, because you've watched everything. <laughs> like, okay, what's my favourite thing? Like, imagine I haven't watched anything, yeah. or I have, and I'm re-watching it, like, what would it be? Sex and the City. Yeah, that's a good one. Something like that. So, I love Sex and the City. Films, TV series, literally, mm. all and any of them. Well, The Fish Cakes. I've had one. Yeah. Did you put it in sweet chili sauce? No. Oh my god, that was really good. Just going in for a seafood stick. Everyone thinks I'm really, really weird. Like, honestly, everyone. Because I love these seafood sticks. But I just love them. And apparently they're not that bad for you, so. Okay, I think you would be watching one of the Real Housewives franchises. Mm. Beverly Hills, probably, if you could just have it, like, every day. Yeah, I would love to watch that every day. <laughs> I love that. Oh my goodness, does anyone remember when Big Brother used to be on 24-7? <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah. Like, it all was like, all the, yeah, just constantly, and you would just sit like... <laughs> and the microphone, they'd like show you someone talking, but the microphones wouldn't be on, and you'd be like, what are they talking about? Mm. That was funny. Like, Nikki is in the diary mm. room. Did they even do that, though? Sometimes, yeah, like, that guy, I think, probably worked 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> Going in with the sweet chilli fish cake. Mmm. 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 Is that nice? Mmm. You just have one. Is that nice? You haven't made enough noises about it. <laughs> okay, what is my favourite band or musician? Oh, hard. That's actually quite difficult. Yeah. Tell, tell the backstory of my music taste. The back floor, yeah. yeah. Just talk about my music taste. Yeah. I thought that was like a story there. I feel like you just don't actually really like music that much. Oh, you, you do? do? Yeah. I love music. Yeah, but like, you like weird stuff. 
mm. and then listen to it over and over again. Like when say you have an artist that you're like, oh I love this artist. Mm. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, the type of songs that I play as my reels, like with like Nat King Cole, mm. Natalie Cole, like John Lewis Christmas Advert songs. <sighs> Those are genuinely the songs that I listen to non-stop. Like, I don't really listen to, like, chart music. Yeah. I like them sometimes. Like, I know them through, like, TikTok and stuff like that, but I listen to, like, either musical theatre or, like, comforting family. Coastal grandmother vibes. You actually do listen to the musical theatre. Mm, a lot of musical theatre. <laughs> but, like, weird songs. Yeah, like, not the main ones. It's not, like, Frozen and stuff. It's uh, like that as well, because that was your top oh, yeah. two something like last year. Frozen 2. <laughs> mm, but not the popular songs. <laughs> you have a weird music taste. Mm. I like all the music you like, but it's just a weird music taste. Mm. Who would you actually say is your favourite art? If you had to pick someone that you were like, they're my favourite artist. Probably would it be? like Ben Platt or something. Who is an actor from musicals, if no one knows him. Very good singer. Mm. Mm. Who's mine? Mm. Mikey loves anyone who's like quite campy, like girls. <laughs> <laughs> Could we get more gay answers? It's like any musical like theatre. Yeah, like any female, like short skirt, high heels, it's like quite straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but quite. <laughs> But quite like bougie, like long hair or like quite vibey. Yeah, I like that as well. Like Zara Larson, like pop princesses. I think you yeah, like that. Did you? And the musical album. vibe as well will be like any. So say like the Megan Trainor song that's big right now. You're singing nonstop. That's like. Yeah. I'm up in my kitchen. Mm. And if that's just because it's it, TikTok. No, but I think it's because it sounds really like poppy and. Like easy yeah. to listen to, which I like as well. So it's true. It works out well. So, but I would say, well, all-time favorite, Mikey is obsessed or used to be with Girls Aloud, like Love them. uncontrollably, and Sharon in particular. So she's probably your like all-time fave person. Yeah. Mm. And she's she's my favorite artist though. Mm. But Girls Aloud probably so like my heart though. I absolutely love them. Um, like if they got back together for a one night only, it would be like, okay, I'm going to see them. Can't anymore. Yeah, mm, don't be sad. Mm. Your favourite artist... Oh my god, I keep dropping these. <laughs> mm, you have to put the fork in like the middle, that way. I wasn't putting the fork in. Yeah, that's the that's problem. problem. Common enough. <laughs> favourite artist right now... Yours. Mm. Oh. Yours. I would say you really liked Olivia Rodrigo's I was album. I going to say that I didn't like that album. Enough. Also, you know, like Lizzo's new songs, you like that kind yeah. of vibe, like quite like, can do a dance, can listen to it in the car, in a whatever. Okay. I mean, sassy. <laughs> when did you first meet my parents? Quite soon after I met you. Yeah, like two weeks? Yeah. A week or two? I remember that was a lot. We were only 17, so. When we met, so, or just nearly 18, but it meant that we didn't have our own houses at that time, or we lived with parents, so mm. it was kind of hard to see each other. I had to meet your parents. Yeah. Because. To see you. Yeah, because we were children. <laughs> I remember the first time I met your mum, and she knows this, so I can't say this, but. Do you say hi, mum. Hi. <laughs> we went to one of Toby's family friends' mm. children's birthdays. Mm -hmm. She was like five or something. Mm hmm. And Lila and Charlie. Yeah, it was the first time I was meeting Toby's mum, and for some reason she was just really scary. Mm. But she isn't scary at all, but she just was. And she I was, think like, she was with her friends. Yeah. yeah, it was a weird place to meet someone. She's got quite a big fan group, and I think she was like, I'm one of the cool chicks. <laughs> and you she thought, was probably like, you were with someone else last week. <laughs> the woman whose house we went to, Mikey, when we left, he was like, I wish she was your mum, she was so nice. <laughs> Oh, funny now. At the time, I remember being like, oh god, I don't think your mum liked me. <laughs> I actually can't remember when I first met your parents. I remember when I first met Mikey's sister, which, <laughs> one of his sisters, she was literally evil. And she had like a massive screaming war with her dad, with my father-in-law, and 
<laughs> my father-in-law will be hearing about My father-in-law will be hearing about this. Um, because her steak wasn't cooked properly. <laughs> She's actually not even like that. She's at not all. like that at all. Um, so that was funny. And she's older as well. So she was like 22, 21, 22. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> she's not going to live that one down. Mm. So that was funny. But I can't remember your parents. Can you? I kind of have memories of maybe you meeting my mum. I think yeah, you met my mum. In the hall. Yeah. Yeah, I have that memory. But my dad wasn't there. It was kind of in passing. I think you weren't meant to meet. Like, she was out. Mm, it was she going out and you were early. Or and it was just like that quick. Yeah. yeah, he was trying to sneak me in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is my shoe size? Wow. Okay. Another story time. It's always a story with me, guys. So interesting as well. <laughs> I swear you would actually be a 10, but I think you've shrunk yourself into an 8. Mm. Somehow. Mm hmm. But you're. Um. Feet do look like they need to stretch out sometimes. My feet are damaged. <sighs> don't I don't recommend it. I basically used to live in Converse and I was just convinced. I think this is actually fact. I do believe this. Converse look nicer on smaller feet. Yeah. And a 10, they look like bloody boat. So I just started wearing like a seven and then I swear it shrunk them and now I wear an eight. Mm. So it worked. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> that was rhyme to my reason. And Mikey's a nine, which is good. Rhyme to my reason. Rhyme to my reason. <laughs> reason to my rhyme. Rhyme, rhyme there's a reason. <laughs> no. Is that right? Ow. Where there's a... Will there's a way. Will there's a way. What's the rhyme and reason? There's reason in my rhyme. There's reason in my rhyme. <laughs> what did you say? There was a rhyme that's to my rhyme reason. That's rhyme to my reason. <laughs> Mikey's a size nine, which means that I can wear his shoes. You can't wear mine. I do sometimes wear yours there. Sometimes, hurts. yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, what is my weirdest habit? The weirdest habit? You know, you do do this really weird thing, and I have told you about it, but it's fresh on my mind because you did it last night really mm -hmm. loudly. But when you're falling asleep, you whack your teeth together. Mm. And it sounds painful. Okay. Like, I can't do it. Mm. I can't do it. Mm -hmm. That one is quite weird. So yeah. Is but that weird? Don't call that a habit though. It's I don't know if that's a, a weird habit. I used to grind my teeth really badly as a child. So... Maybe that's why. Yeah, talking. maybe that's where it comes from. Sorry, I keep looking around, but it's because they're doing weird things. They're not that. They're just literally sat here. Yeah, yeah. They keep going back and forth. Mikey's like an anxious dad and I'm a chill dad. Yeah. I'm like, oh, whatever. Your weird habit... I feel like you have a lot. You breathe a lot in the night. That's not a habit. <laughs> That's my mouth. I like really loud breathing. Who is it? That's so mean. Mm. I missed that one. Though. I'm snoring. No, no. I'm gonna skip that one. I don't have any. Can't think of one. What am I best at in life? Like one thing, it can be a sport, um, not a sport, like <laughs> a chore, a quality that I have, it could be anything. What am I good at? What's something I'm good at? Like, you're like, Toby's good for this or at this or... I reckon your, like, determination or drive, mm. passion. That's nice. Passion's a bit different, but I think you're very determined, like, you're very, like, motivated mm. to do something. And I think most things you say you're going to do, you will do it. Hmm. That's like nice. if it's within your power to. Hmm. No, obviously, some things you couldn't. Not become the king of England. Where do things happen? That's really nice. Thanks. No. No, I would what's say. Mine? I would say yours is placing mortgages for people. <laughs> if anyone needs mortgage advice, you know where to come. <laughs> <laughs> I would say your actual best habit or quality is being a very good listener. Oh, thanks. No, I do think that's a really nice one. Do you though. actually think I'm good at that? Yeah. And I don't know if you're actually always listening, but... but I you think sit there quietly while I talk You sit quietly you. whilst I talk and you hear my problems and you, like, a very good, I think, responder to a lot of people, like, in life. And that's why I think you're probably, like, good at your job and good at... Because you're good at, like, taking on a problem and resolving it. And that's, like... So Mikey's mum is or was a counsellor. 
Yeah. And I feel like that's kind of the same sort of quality. Like maybe you've learned to be quite like, I'll listen and take it in and you're quite like a voice of reason, which I need because I'm not always a voice of reason. Yeah. Okay, thanks. I'll take that one. <laughs> what am I really bad at? Um, Go on. I'm very impatient. Okay. I think that's I'm less impatient now. You are less now, but I'd still. I'm definitely less impatient. I used to say be... that's one of your Whoa. like mm. with everything though as well. It's not just with patience. It's like if you want to do something, you will do it kind of yeah without think thinking. Or that like probably getting... ties in with the drive thing as well. I think I'm like driven to make mm. things happen quickly. Yeah, agreed. I'm sorry. I need to put her out. Scratching the door. Oh, no, I don't. Your worst quality. This one might be hard. <laughs> Breathing. <laughs> Leaving food in the sink. Y yeah, I would say sometimes it's like thoughtlessness, but it's not that you're thoughtless. I would say it's that you're like, you don't think to do something. Like, yeah. say like uh, this food. We went to the shop. Mikey brought it into the house. I let the dogs out and was doing something else. No, I was desperate for a wee. I said, I bring you to go for a wee, and I put it on the island and ran out to have a wee. Okay, well, none of the food went in the fridge. Three hours later. It's fine. It's my job to put it in the fridge. But, no, because I would do it if I bought it. <laughs> Just one of those things. That happens every day. <laughs> okay, quick fire ones. Um, what film always makes me cry? Oh god, a lot now. Like what? When we first met, I always used to cry. At These are quick we... fire ones. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the backstory. <laughs> um, your film that always makes you cry is About Time. Mm. No? Mm -mm. The Grinch? Yeah, probably. I was going to say like a Christmas film would always, without film, make mm. me cry. Love Actually, you cry as soon as it starts. Mm. Mm. I would say nothing always would make you cry. No. Maybe the family stone? So that's that scene. Yeah, that's I quite don't know like. I cry. Mm, I, I don't do. Know. Yeah. Molly and me. Yeah, that would make me cry. There we go. Where would be my favourite place to travel on holiday if we were going tomorrow? New York? Hmm. Yeah. New York? I think yours would be New York maybe as well. Yeah, probably. Like a long weekend, New yeah. York. Quick, easy, bish, bash, bosh. Bish, bash, Good shop. food, good shopping. Good shows. Mm. Good food. Did you say good food? No. I'm stiff. <laughs> if I could live anywhere in the world, where would I live? Probably New York. Yeah. Do you reckon New York as well? Have you had enough money? I'm not sure actually. London? If you had a really nice like, yeah, I think if I had enough money, I reckon London. Mm. Like to do it well. What am I? Sorry, yeah. you can't go. Just that's it. What am I deathly afraid of? Spiders. You are getting better at that, better. but still okay. spiders. Mice, rats, mice and rats the most. We Ooh. saw a mouse this weekend in London. And... Well, snakes and quite scared of as well. But you don't see many of those. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Came round bar. I think snakes. If I went on, I'm a celebrity. Would be my. Mm. I wouldn't want that. What is my favourite colour? Oh, I feel like this changes a lot. Green? Mm. I'd say it's brown right now. Yeah. Or orange actually. I like orange. I'd say you don't have a favourite colour because you can't change it every week. Mm. I like a lot. I'd say yours is green. Mm, probably. What is my middle name? <laughs> Edward. Mikey's is Courtney. Oh my god, you can't put that in there. It's a family name. <laughs> <laughs> and one of my best friends is called Courtney as well. I have that's funny. I had to deal with that all my life. At our wedding, they said, <laughs> Tobias Edward Payne, take Michael Courtney Perryman, and everyone burst out laughing. <laughs> and the registrar was like, oh god, did I say my name wrong? And I was like, no, you just said my name. <laughs> you just said it properly. <laughs> Who usually wins arguments? You. 
I would actually say it's even. I'd say I'm the first to apologise, which in hand makes me win because I'm like, I apologise first and I'm the bigger person. Agreed? Yeah. Okay, last couple. What is my ideal Friday night in, if you've got five words? Um, that was all one. No, it wasn't. <laughs> bath. As in the bath, not going to bath. Bath. Cocktails. Food. Film. Sex. Jokes. <laughs> Cereal. You can't finish it for me, I was going to say snacks. Okay. I would say yours is... Hotel. Bath. Meal. Show. Cocktails. Mm. Night out food. Oh, yeah. Bed. Lying. Shopping the next day. Nice. Mm. Come. Have words on. Last question. I'm making a good one. I'm going to Starbucks, what am I having? Is that actually the last question? Okay, no, but what is it? An iced latte with oat milk. Mm. And yours is a, I'd say most of the time, a white chocolate mocha. Yeah, but that's a Cafe Nero. A Cafe Nero. Starbucks, I would say, you would have an iced latte with a shot of caramel. Mm. Actual last question, if I were an animal, what animal would I be and why? Oh, I feel like I've done this for you before and I did it really well, but I can't remember what that was now. Mm. Was it a dog breed actually, maybe I said? Maybe. Speaking of. Oh, I don't know. I feel like you would be a... I'll do you first. Oh, right, okay. I think you would be... Stormy! <laughs> Stormy! Me, fam. I think you would be an owl, and I've said that before. An mm. owl? Yeah, I think you would be an owl. Why? Because I think they're... Very wise. <laughs> I just think they're quite like calm and they're nice to look at. They are kind of, they like, like I said earlier, like listen and watch. They turn their neck around all the time and you've got quite a long neck. <laughs> Well, you've been turning it around every minute to look at the dogs. Um, yeah, an owl. I just they're quite like sturdy in there. I would say that you are quite like a poodle. Okay. Quite like well groomed poodle. So like they're quite well groomed. Hmm. Nice to look at, but can be quite like hyper. Hmm. Into like can do a lot of tricks. Mm-hmm. But yeah, some okay. kind of dog I think you would dog. be. Like you're quite like eager Happy to please, please. Yeah. Can do lots of things, get like excited in a crowd. Yeah. Like this one. Yeah. Like this one who wants the attention. <laughs> and an attention hogger. <laughs> this attention seeker. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look her in the camera. <laughs> oh you'll make her sick. My little girly. Should we get little brother up? Go on, pick him up. Here he is, the star boy. Right, so that is gonna end our mukbang, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching and enjoyed our answers. Hopefully you could hear us okay over the squeaking. <laughs> but food was very good. I really recommend the curry sauce and yes. the fish cakes and the nuts in particular. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed, or we hope you enjoyed coming to this one. Yeah. And we will see you next time. Bye! 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 Bye!